Cetățiene n-au obținut în exclusivitate imagini din tuneliurile de sub spitalul al Shifa. Acestea au fost filmate de militarii forțelor de apărare israeliene și arată cum a folosit Hamas, cel mai mare spital din Gaza, pentru a purta război. A Hamas tunnel below Gaza's largest hospital. That's what the Israeli military says this video shows. Nearly 48 hours after Israeli forces raided Al Shifa Hospital, these are the first images of what the Israeli military says is an operational tunnel shaft on the grounds of the hospital complex. CNN cannot independently verify those claims, but using this frame, CNN has geolocated this video to the Al Shifa complex, about 30 meters away from one of the hospital's main buildings. It is here in Shifa Hospital where Hamas operates some of its command and control cells. For weeks, Israeli officials have laid the groundwork for an operation targeting Shifa Hospital, claiming Hamas operates a massive underground complex below it. And in recent days, the U.S. has also backed up those allegations. One thing has been established is that Hamas does have headquarters, weapons, materiel below this hospital. As Israeli special forces continue searching the hospital complex, they are also uncovering weapons and ammunition. There is a, an AK-47, there are cartridges, am ammo, uh, there are uh, grenades in here. Which the Israeli military calls concrete evidence that Hamas used Gaza's largest hospital to wage war. Near the hospital, Israeli officials also say they found the body of 65-year-old Yehudit Weiss, who was among those abducted on October 7th. Israel's decision to send troops into a hospital has drawn fierce criticism, with the UN's aid chief saying he is appalled by the raid. President Biden standing by Israel's actions. It's not like they're rushing in the hospital, knocking down doors and, you know, pulling people aside and shooting people indiscriminately. Amid the fighting, the families of hostages held by Hamas ramping up the pressure. This whole huge march of families up to Jerusalem comes to make a very clear stand to our government that they need to take any deal that they have and pay any price uh, for these people, for their citizens, pretty much. As negotiations drag on over a deal that could see Hamas free dozens of women and children in exchange for a multi-day ceasefire. This is my sister-in-law and this is my niece. She's 12 years old. Their families are racked with anxiety. It's been nerve-wracking, to tell you the truth, because, again, we don't know who to believe. We are trying to kind of scrape the last remnants of uh, faith and trust in our government that uh, when a relevant deal comes to the table, they will take it. For now, they march and wait.